You okay? Gotcha, huh? Hi guys, it's Janae and welcome back to my channel and today I'm reacting to episode 2 of Unknown. So this is something that I wouldn't usually do because uh, the first episode of Unknown did not get the thousand views that I typically use as my measuring stick to know if people are interested. But unfortunately I made a mistake uh, when labeling the video originally so I don't know if that maybe contributed to it. So I thought to be fair I would give it one more episode if you guys are genuinely interested in it then we will be continuing. I just I do feel quite bad for that mistake because I feel like it potentially affected the video quite a lot so we'll see if that's the case or if I'm just being overly optimistic anyway before we do get into it I just want to say a quick thank you to all my amazing patrons and channel members if you're interested in joining either of those for uncut and exclusive reactions the links will be in the description below along with my social media and my peer box and if you want to subscribe that's always greatly appreciated now without further ado let's get into today's video Okay, so more his social life, it seems, is what you're implying. Also, the fact that the actor seems to be a trying to act a lot older than he actually is is kind of throwing me off a little bit. I mean, I kind of get it, but also, like, just have a little faith in him. Maybe he's just getting along with that one person because the other people just aren't his kind of people. Like, it happens. And also, it might there might be bullying going on, though I don't necessarily think he is the type of person to let himself be walked over. Why do I feel like something's off here? Wait, are you looking into his phone? Why did you go to the phone? Huh? Oh, this is... Oh, I feel so bad because I understand uh, Wei Qian's feeling of being like I've tried so hard to not have him um, be in need of anything but also I get why Ian was like, I wanna help him because he's helped me so much. At least that that's what I'm assuming his motives are. I'm glad he picked up on that. Yeah, but he might mind. Mm. Yeah, well, at least that means he can be sociable when he wants to be. But also, I just love the dynamic that I've seen so far from the three of them. It just feels slightly idealistic, but also weirdly real at the same time. I don't know how they manage that because that should be very contradictory. But somehow it works. Don't <laughs> 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 That's so rude, but it just it feels so rather I love this. But it's also nice to just kind of see them existing together because obviously the first episode was very tense for the most part. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad he's considering. Uh, uh huh. 
在跑道上有些陪我跑的，有些看我跑的，这样有很多社交机会吧。And that is what you wanted, so if that's not actually what you want, you need to be clear about it. 我觉得 he's probably already out exercising. I do worry about him a little bit because even though like I kind of agree with the brother's motivation for like just wanting him to put himself out there a little bit and um, potentially getting to know new people and expanding his horizons a bit, I think guardians slash parents really need to be very careful about the wishes that they put upon children because like if they don't make it very clear that this is something that they want for the child but they don't want them to do it if they are not interested in it it can very easily turn into something that the child is doing just for the parents sake but they actually hate it themselves <laughs> How, how he's not already exhausted, I don't know. What, four laps? Oh, great. Sorry. I'm going to look at him and see if there's any very calm and calm disorder. What is that? His face is so dry. He's not going to shut up. I mean, I agree with him. <laughs> I do think it's something that just is probably quite natural. Considering their, both their life experiences, as I think when you grow up in extreme circumstances, it's very hard for your, pers for your personality to not take one of two extremes. <laughs> 哎，要不要交个女朋友？你说交就交。我一直觉得，我一直觉得，你家多一个女主人，整个情况会不一样。Yeah, but I don't think you should add another person to your family dynamic to fix something. I think it should only happen if that is something you genuinely want because you want that person in your life. Not what that person can represent. He looks so unconvinced. Just running off. Why are you asking about blood type now? Is this a job interview? 应该是没有遇过像我这么漂亮的吧？哇哦，很少有女生可以穿红色格子的衣服哎，红色格子，你知道这有多难吗？看不起我是不是 ？From what? What's going on? 谁跟你考一百分？嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯
at least from the very little information that we've gotten in these few seconds, it's mm. kind of giving the vibe that she might have sexually assaulted him. Like, I, I hope I'm wrong because that is like normal abuse or yeesh, that sounds weird to say, but is already bad enough on its is already bad enough on its own. Sexual abuse from a family member? That is so dark. I really hope I'm reading the situation wrong. You okay? Not though. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, you're fine. Nah. I actually weirdly mm, like the fact that there's not doesn't seem to be any feelings right now because it just too young feels weird can't imagine it but also it seems like we did a slight time skip Oh. So, Zhuyan is going to university? I'm assuming he's graduating from the university. Mm -hmm. I feel kind of bad for her. <laughs> I just love the, the floor's dynamic. I'm on word he's already taller than him. Oh, it's so cute. Oh. Okay, so I'm guessing this is where he starts realizing his feelings. But also just a quick note, it seems like for some reason the music was cut out from the audio here. Mm. Oh wow, okay. So that is the end of the episode and what a wonderful episode. It was a nice, almost transitional episode, I would say. Like we got to just see a little bit more of their daily lives and their dynamic and so on. Obviously it was just it was wonderful seeing the different dynamics that they have, seeing how far Ziyin is willing to go for Wei Qian. I think is gonna play into a big role of their dynamic later on. And it is nice that we because I was surprised by how much time we spent with them in the current like age demographic that the episode started off in. So it was nice to see that time skip happening later on in the, the episode here and kind of establishing, okay, you know, Wei Qian is graduating and Zhu Yen has just moved on to university. It surprised me a little because it seemed like there would be a lot more focus on him going to the different clubs and things like that and then they didn't do that which again as i said was surprising but it was a nice addition to have 
Wei Chen going on dates and kind of seeing how that went for him and then obviously we have the very traumatic moment there for him that I do want to talk more about but it was interesting and I can't help but wonder if that was maybe the first point where Zhu Yin maybe in himself started noticing, you know, noticing a little bit of discomfort or jealousy or something like that with the idea of Wei Qian dating even though it didn't look like it like I quite like the fact that there was no obvious jealousy so far I much preferred this approach where he's a little bit older by the time that it seems like he's starting to put the pieces together of him liking Wei Qian it doesn't feel like a childhood crush that's come a long way in the exact same form if that makes sense uh, but yeah so talking about the trauma that Wei Qian clearly has with regards to his mother it does seem like I was mistaken which I'm very happy about and that there was no sexual aspect to it I was so thrown for a loop when that came up I think it's kind of just because of the way the things were almost framed it seemed a little bit uh, uncomfortable but it, it does make sense just as far as quote-unquote normal physical abuse that feels so weird to say but I don't know how else to classify it I think they did a really good job with regards to exploring his clear PTSD around what his mother did to him quote-unquote strange connections that his brain makes the small things that trigger him I feel like makes it very real and realistic because sometimes the the thing that triggers an emotion isn't this very big thing that makes sense so I just I like that it was something as small as that like it's very sad and I think the actor did an amazing job conveying the the emotional stress that he experienced in that moment but it I do think that the choices they made with regarding to expressing the PTSD were very good. I liked the way that they distinguished between the flashbacks and the reality with the filter that they chose to do. So it just it had this like grainy, almost film-like quality to it uh, that just made it seem very dark and like it was. A very dark space within his mind you know it just it had a very good visual impact I think so overall another amazing episode I'm really keen to see where the rest of these episodes go I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did if you did please like the video because that does seem to have an impact these days and hopefully if this does well I'll see you in the next one